field, in the courts, but also in the classroom. Just to kind of give you a little perspective, there are 7 million high school student athletes in the United States. Less than 2% get to do what these young men, young ladies are going to do here shortly. Uh, so it's very, very impressive. Let's give them a round of, of applause. It's certainly uh, a tremendous accomplishment, one that you and uh, your families can be very, very proud of. I know the IMG family is certainly proud of all your successes. Uh, we have, baseball has two uh, players that will be signing today. Uh, we anticipate that we'll have quite a few more uh, during the spring, uh, but we're very excited about these two gentlemen. Uh, we expect some very, very big things from them this year and very, very happy they are part of our program. The first player I would like to call up is a right-handed pitcher from Cape Coral, Florida. He is going to be playing for the LSU Tigers, Levi Kelly. Next player is a shortstop from Amherst, New Hampshire. Just joined us this year. Um, Going to be playing for the University of Texas Longhorns, Bryce Reagan. Now we'll bring up our director of basketball, Brian Nash. I uh, just want to echo Dan's comments of congratulating everybody. It's, uh, it's a great honor. It's, uh, it's the culmination of a lot of hours, a lot of AAU trips, a lot of journeys, and uh, you should be really proud of where you are. Um, we're extremely proud of our men and women in the basketball program who are moving on. They have great character, they're great people on campus, and that stuff makes us even more proud because we know how good they are on the court. Um, we're excited about our program this year. We have nationally ranked teams going in, and, and these young men and women are a really big part of what we're doing. Um, so we want to honor them today. We have, uh, we have four boys signings and two girls signings. Uh, Shell Daly, our women's director, will come up and introduce the uh, girls after the boys, but our first signee is one of our postgrads. We have Eric Ayala from Delaware. He is going to be attending the University of Maryland.
Next up, we have uh, one of our power forwards from Angola. He will be attending the University of Kansas, Silvio D'Souza. Next up, via Oklahoma, uh, he will be attending the University of Arkansas, Keyshawn Embry. And finally, a Florida native uh, will be attending Louisiana State University, Darius Days. Hello, and congratulations to all of our signees. This is definitely an exciting time. Uh, we are so excited about what's going on in, in women's basketball right now. We know that we're going to have more signees in the spring, but this is a great start. Uh, it's been a great day today. You know, a coach is always, uh, I guess, happy when they have great practices. So today I'm really happy. I'm really smiling. So they really made my day. But uh, it was so funny that one of the, the signees said, Coach, I need you. Stay close to me. Don't worry. I'm going to be close to you. So you don't have to worry about that. But one of the first signees, you can imagine who it is. It's for, first of all, it's never a dull moment with my team. So I love them dearly, but, you know, every day is always a joy to coach. Uh, the first signee is Erica Mortensen. She's going to the University of Virginia. Erica can just flat out shoot the ball. I mean, she's a joy to watch. So I invite you to come out and watch our teams play. Like I said, we have kids that are ranked nationally. So if you don't come, you're missing a great treat.
you made the right decision. The next young lady is Jayla Jordan. I'm excited to coach Jayla because she's a lot like me in a lot of ways. Each day she comes in and says, Coach, are you okay? Uh, but she always checks my pulse and see how I'm doing. And like I said, she's a joy to coach, and I'm going to miss her. I give her a hard time a lot of times because I just want her to be on the straight and arrow. But she has a jovial personality, and every, anybody that knows her, you, you can't help but get drawn in to her. But Jayla, come up here. Her, her fun fact is that she's Kevin Durant's wife. So just want just want to let you guys know that. Up next from golf, Coach Scott Davies. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of everyone in the golf department, we'd like to congratulate all the signees today on achieving this goal. Uh, but this is just the start for you all. There's a lot more to come. So good luck in your travels and with your team. And we'll be watching you as you move on. For the golf department, today is actually, in over 20 years, one of our smaller signing classes. But while it's small, it's not lacking in quality. So we have uh, two people signing. Uh, our first signee is from a country called Myanmar, not known for its golf. So with that in mind, this player's achieved an awful lot. She's worked hard. She's very quiet, but very uh, competitive. She's currently ranked in the top 170 in the country, and she's going to University of North Carolina, Wilmington, and it's Pooh Quint Kine. The next signee, um, many years ago when he first came here, was actually a student of mine, so I'm quite enjoying this bit. Um, he's from Madison, Wisconsin. He's an absolute rock star in the classroom, and he's an ambassador on the golf course. Um, you can see by his record up there behind him, he knows how to play this game as well. He's going to Davidson College, and his name is Clayton Tribute.
Next up from Boys Lacrosse, Coach Matt Kerwick. Thank you for coming out today. Um, it's my honor and privilege to announce these young men. Congratulations to all the signees today. It's, it's a huge accomplishment. And great things are ahead for, for all of you. Um, today we're going to recognize three young men, and then we'll have Coach Russell come up and, and introduce the ladies. Very proud of these guys. They are our leaders of our team, and it's, it's very fitting that they're going to go on to play at the, at the highest level. First is uh, John Kirikoff. Young man from uh, D.C. area. He's going to go to the University of Michigan. Great goalie. Anybody that plays goalie is out of their mind. But uh, we're very proud of him. Come on up, John. Next up is a young man that just arrived here this fall. He's going to go to Lenore Rhine, Jared Maybrek. He is a tenacious leader for us. He does everything for us. He's an everyday guy, 100%, 100% of the time. And that's what we ask of all of, all of our student athletes. And I'm uh, very proud of Jared. He's, he's been, a, again, a great leader this fall for us, and he's going to have a great career ahead of him. Congratulations, Jared. Our third signee is one of the best players in the country. Uh, he's, he's a tremendous offensive player for us. He's had a great career here. Um, he's going to go to Drexel University in Philadelphia. And I, I expect that we're going to be hearing a lot from him in the, in the future. If you follow lacrosse, he is one of the best. And, and I'm very proud of all of his accomplishments in the, in the classroom and then obviously on the field. Uh, Dan Burnham. I'd like to introduce, congratulations, Danny. Hold on, we got a couple more people. Coach Red Burnham needs to get in this photo for sure. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'd, I'd now like to introduce Coach Kim Russell, our women's director. She's a phenomenal coach. She's really leading the program. We, we, we were both hired in, in uh, early August. We had no players at that time. A couple of weeks later, we have 15 tremendous lacrosse players playing for the girls' program, starting the program here. And Coach Russell's leading the way. She's tremendous. So let's put our hands together for Kim. So Coach Kerwick said a little bit about what I was going to say, which is these three girls didn't even know they were going to be here um, in mid-August. And they have so much courage to take the chance and come here not knowing me, not knowing this school, not knowing what they were about to walk into. So the first one I want to introduce is 
Claire Mills. Claire, come on up. <laughs> so Claire is arguably the best player at her age from Canada. She played on the Canadian national team in the World Cup tournament this July. Um, we have huge expectations of her to also make the U19 team this coming August. But so proud of her for making this decision to go to Johns Hopkins because it, it is absolutely the right fit for her. So excited for her. Awesome. Go ahead and go. Our second player who will be signing today is also from Ontario, Canada. Um, it's Tristan Usher. <laughs> Tristan will be attending Lindenwood um, in the fall of 2018. And again, um, she's another player who I couldn't be more proud of for making this decision. It was not an easy decision for her and she really went the high road and chose the right place for the right reasons. So congratulations, Tristan. And I wanna say too, this is all three of our seniors. So we have three seniors on our team and all three are signing today. So we're really excited about that. Our third player who is signing today is Natalie Disney. Um, Natalie came to us from Orlando and she's gonna be staying in her home state to represent Florida. Come on up, Natalie. So I didn't say much about all three of these girls, but all three of them are huge, huge leaders on our team and all for different reasons. But on the field, all three of them are finishers, which means they can put the ball in the net. All three of them are scrappy, which is probably the most important part of the game. They will fight to the end to get the ball from their opponent and to put it in the net. Thank you, girls. And from tennis, Coach Rowan Gertzka. Good morning, everybody. Um, as Scott mentioned a little earlier, a couple of years ago, we did it over, the, uh, over on the other side. It started very small, and I've walked in today because last year I wasn't here, and it has grown. So it seems to take every year. It grows to another level. So from tennis... Um, I'd just like to congratulate all the students, uh, their parents and coaches on a great job and this early signing day. And for my tennis group, congrats. Uh, we have a few that are not here today. I'll just mention their names uh, because they're out playing tournaments or away. We have Alan Rubio from Mexico. Uh, he's going to UCF. We have Carl Hilliard going to Texas A&M Corpus Christi. We have Zishan Zeng. Andrew, he's going to George Washington. And we have Keenan Mayo, University of Illinois. They are not possible to make it today, but we have three who are here. And we have the first one, Carolyn Capana, is she came from California a couple of years ago. Was one of our first sort of trying to build our female, let's say, the level. She took the big step to come over from California, 
uh, she's been with her younger sister. She came over and she's been a great addition, if I put it mildly. She's super positive. She is feisty. She brings this unbelievable positive energy to the whole group. Our, and that has helped us build our female side. So, Carolyn Capana, could you please come up? And she does smile like that all the time. She will be going to Vanderbilt University. So she was in hot. There's a lot of, lot of universities that were after her, but it's a great choice and uh, a very exciting moment. Parents. <laughs> Our second lady is Katya Townsend. She's going to Texas A&M. She's joined us this year. As I said, she brings another high-quality female tennis player to our group. She, Margie got her in, who heads our female uh, level. Katja, could you please come up here because uh, you've been also a rel rel revelation for us. Positive, hardworking, everything we look for in an IMG student. Okay, and our, our one boy that is in the, on campus at the moment, he's from China, he's been here for a few years, is Hanu Lu, and his nickname is Mason. He's going to George Washington University. Academically, fantastic. Tennis, great. He's been a great addition, brings a lot of positive energy. He's been a fantastic guy for our whole tennis division to work with. Uh, he's sort of leader of the Chinese pack, so... As you see, he's got a great personality, great smile. Congratulations. <laughs> and I know his mother's watching back in China. All right, that's it for tennis. All right, just one more big round of applause for these fine young men and women. So we try to leave each signing period, I think Greg started this, uh, with just some words of wisdom. So it would not be applicable if we didn't do that. So we'll give you three pieces. So I'm going to kind of almost turn and talk to the kids as I go through this. But I'll give you three things to think about. First one is just work. It's just work. Because what most students will do outside of these walls is kind of rest on their laurels. They'll stop working, or they won't work as hard. And I can tell you there's very few people that are working as hard as you're working currently. They don't get up every day and do what you do. They don't have the day uh, schedule that you have. So you have to keep working. This should be the hardest working time in your life to make that transition because you're competing against not only whoever you're going to go play against, but whoever currently has your spot, right? So it makes sense. There's one guy that I follow who's a, a Navy SEAL, and he has said this. He was asked a question, why is he great at what he does? And his answer was really simple. He said, right now is the easiest time in the history of our country to be great because you just have to outwork people. People aren't willing to make the commitment that you guys have made. 
So just outwork them. Just start with that. Just be the hardest working person you can between now and the time you step on campus, and then be the hardest working person you can on your team. Real simple. Second one is just inspire. Just inspire. You don't have to be a leader right away, right? But just inspire the people around you by doing a good job, by going to class, by making sure you're, you're working hard consistently, but that you're just a good person. Okay? And the last one I think is the most important piece because I think as a former coach, now as an athletic director, one of the things that gets labeled with you guys at your age is that everyone wants instant gratification. Right? This generation just wants results right now. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think it's what you look at. If you're looking at your end goal and that's what you want today, you won't achieve the goal. It's about the journey. Right, so my advice to you is embrace the road, embrace the journey. It's not where you start when you step onto your college campus, but it's where you're going to finish. And if you take your eyes off the goal a little bit and just look, look at the day-to-day -day and look at the journey and take your self-satisfaction from what you achieved that day, you're going to hit your goal. You'll hit it. But be satisfied with what you've earned today and don't look past it because whether you, whether you succeed or fail, you will learn. And if you learn, you'll become better, All right? So take at least those simple pearls of wisdom, if you will. Do with them what you will. But just make sure you continue to do what you've done here, and that's make this group and make us proud. So keep working hard. Keep representing the IMG brand well. And just understand that this is and will always still be your home. So when you're back at break, you want to come back and see coaches, come back and train. We'd love to see you. So from this group here, let's give these guys one more big round of applause, these guys and girls. Thank you all very much. Food and drink. So here's what we'll do is we'll do, we're going to bring everyone up, the, the students now, we'll do one big group photo. We'll leave this up so we can do photos with the sports, the, the entire sports, then with parents, that kind of thing. Food and beverage on the side. So once again, parents, faculty, staff, thanks for all that you've done. Uh, be very, very proud of the students in front of you. Have a great day. Thank you.